ओके सो वी आर इन विजुअल स्टूडियो आई ऑलरेडी प्री क्रिएटेड टू प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस इज अ कंसोल एप्लीकेशन अ सिंपल कंसोल एप्लीकेशन जस्ट इट रेफर्स टू दिस अदर लाइब्रेरी दिस नेट स्टैंडर्ड लाइब्रेरी सो दिस इज अ नेट स्टैंडर्ड प्रोजेक्ट नेट स्टैंडर्ड क्लास लाइब्रेरी प्रोजेक्ट दैट्स नथिंग बट जस्ट अ क्लास लाइब्रेरी ऑफ अ नेट स्टैंडर्ड प्रोजेक्ट टाइप आई विल शो हाउ इट लुक लाइक या exactly this thing class library net standard i already created this project just i am showing in the project um, uh, dialog so i uh, and i just created a class in this one it's not rich in functionality just uh, i want to show how things behave so class name is net standard info and it has a stand static method which gets the net sta get net standard version info and it just prints a static version number of Uh, this thing so by default when we create a net standard uh, library it will it will use the most recent net standard version if you look at the drop down we will see like net standard 2.0 and it starts from 1.0 to 2.0 okay so um so let us put this as a 2.0 okay so 2.0 and i'm coming to the console application let me look at the console applications um, target framework so it is using the most recent dotnet framework version 4.6.1 4.6.1 supports dotnet um, um 4.6.1 supports net standard 2.0 so it shouldn't have any problem so now i can go ahead and build it and i can run it very simple not very classic just it shows the version number okay so uh, let us look at the references in the net standard library how it looks like so let us come to this net standard library and looking at the dependency and if i look at the sdk it shows net standard library 2.0 and if you see the further dependency beneath it it just refers to the dotnet uh, microsoft net core platform 1.1.0 means like since this is the latest and greatest everything is included in this version there are no other dependency other than the core net standard library now we will see the difference when we start targeting a lower uh, version of um, uh net standard like uh, next net, net standard version so let us go let us go to the net standard library and choose a lower version as a target now i pick 1.0 version okay now i save it save it and then come here look at the dependency now if you see see the net standard version has came down to 1.6.1 and if you look at you can literally count the number of api surfaces covered in this version you can literally you can count like maybe like 20 or 25 are there since it's the very first version there is a link support there is um, reflection support text support xml support and these are all the components supported in the 1. Um, uh, net standard 1.0 means like these are all the versions supported across all the platforms okay now let me increase this version to a bit of like um, 1.6 okay let me save it okay now again come and look at the dependency graph now it has increased to 1.6.1 just check the count of dependency now it's more so it cover it it covers more surface area or surface of api so if i choose 2.0 as i already shown you like uh, it covers further more so um now let us switch it back to 1.0 
okay now i made this net standard library to target 1.0 and if i come and uh, you, we already know this is Four dot six dot one. Let us see how it behaves. Let us run it. Because, because since we are chosen, we have chosen a lower uh, net standard version. There will not be an issue. It will work with even the latest version. So now let us go ahead and switch it. For example, now I make the console application. As .NET 4, okay. Now I make it as a console version as a .NET 4, and now build it. We will immediately see the error because .NET 4 will not have support for NET standard 1.0. Let us look at the matrix. So the minimum version supported by net standard 1.0 is not net, .NET framework 4.5. So it will not work here. So um, I need to bump up this to 4.5. So once I make it 4.5, save it, build it, it will work now. So it's a build issue, just it, it should work if I do a clean and build. Clean. Build. Okay, run. Okay, working fine. So, Okay, so far my net standard library targets a single version. Okay, suppose if I if I want to make this my library to work with the, a lower version of um, .NET framework, for example, 4.5, and also with the higher version, yeah, we can target the lowest um, net standard version. But I want to make sure the higher version of .NET framework should use my net standard library with the higher version and the lower version of the .NET, .NET framework should use the lowest available version of the net standard. So this is possible. Let me uh, demonstrate it. So now we need to make our application to target multiple versions. So that's not possible in this dialog. So I'm going to um, unload this project. edit it okay um, make this target framework as a frameworks to support multiple frameworks and uh, 2.2 so now my net standard library targets two versions net standard 1.0 and net standard 2.0 let me save it let me reload the project okay now if you come and look at the dependency you will see like 1.0 2.0 so it refers to two things okay but now how I can conditionally use uh, these dependencies so so I can use a um, compiler check and handle it if net if net standard we have a list of code for um, the framework versions to check it's uh, it will be like uh, for example um, um, .NET framework uh, uh, .NET framework you have a code and uh, similarly for net standard we have so i know this is like net standard one 
dot will be replaced by z underscore so if it is a net standard one let me print net standard version one it's not else if it's elif That's it. So now I have made this um, net standard version function to have a different um, uh, return statement for uh, according to the uh, different um, net standard target version. So this is a very simplest um, way of um, using it, but we can go ahead with a complex way of um, having a separate classes for each uh, version or separate method we can we can refactor it to the uh, largest level this is for just to demonstrate at a simple level i'm using inline in fact you can you can write this get standard get net standard version info method twice and put each of this method under one particular compiler uh, uh, check so we can do it in a different ways just for simplicity i'm using like this now this net standard library supports both 1.0 and 2.0 according to the to the other application and its version the net standard will be used the appropriate net standard will be used okay now this is compiled uh, now i am building it saving it building it now let me go ahead and run the console application okay this is a net standard version it is using net standard version 1.0 because i think our console application is targeting a, a lower version 4.5 okay now let me go ahead and bump up the .NET framework version to 4.6.1 Saved it, running it. Two dot Z. Okay. Hope this uh, demonstration helps to understand uh, what is net standard, why we need to care about, and um, how to play around with the net standard uh, uh, targeting multiple versions. Uh, hope this helps. Okay, and uh, we have uh, there is a GitHub page to know like what are all the APIs covered in each net standard version, and you can refer at this location. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.